So hello and welcome. In this tutorial I would like to show you a little bit more advanced way how to manipulate sound with uh, JavaScript in Adobe Animate uh, using if else statement. Uh, I already created a tutorial about how to manipulate sound uh, with JavaScript in Adobe Animate and I'm going to provide the link in the description. Uh, so right now I will show you what we will be doing today. So basically in this tutorial uh, we are going to be manipulating uh, sound and we are going to be using if else statement. So I can click on the monkey, monkey. on the lion, lion and on the zebra. zebra. And right now this was in the English version and I can click on the SP, which means Spanish and this, this will change this to Spanish and these are going to be the Spanish sounds. Mona, Leon, Cedra. And you can change this back and forth like so and play zebra. this. So yeah, this is it. Okay, so right now I'm on the site prepick and I'm going to use some vectors. Uh, you do not need to use vectors, you can work with the shapes, but I prefer to work like this. And I'm going to provide this in the description and hopefully it will still be uh, free for uh, download. Uh, so I will click download and I would like to go with the free download. In this case, we will have to attribute the author if we want to use this and I will save this. I already did this, so I will just hit cancel and I will go to my uh, place where I save this. Uh, this is going to give me a zip file which I'm going to extract and I'm going to have the episode file. I will double click and this will open me this in the illustrator. And uh, right now what I can do is uh, I, will create, uh, I will create a canvas in Adobe Animate which I already did and it is 800 by 800 pixels, of course HTML5 canvas. And I will, I will go to the illustrator and I'm going to, with my shift, select the vectors that I want. And I will just uh, drag them to the Adobe Animate like so. And I would like to paste using AI file import and preferences. Like this. Okay. Uh, right now I can select all of them. I can hit Q, which is free transform tool. And I can scale them a little bit. And I'm holding shift to stay proportional like so and I can just put them uh, in here like this. Okay, fine. Uh, right now what I want to do is I would like to import my sounds and there are uh, basically two ways. Uh, one of the way is go to the file, import, import to uh, library and then I will have to go to my place, sounds and here I have the sounds. I have the three sounds in the English and three sounds in the Spanish. And I can just uh, select all of them and hit open. And this is going to uh, import me these sounds to, to the library. Another way is just uh, directly, if I go to my sounds, I could uh, drag my sounds like so. But I'm not going to do this because I would have duplicates. But there is also a way how you can uh, put your uh, sounds or anything to the library. Okay, fine. Uh, so right now in the library, what I can do, uh, this is not necessary, but you can do this. Uh, I can create a new folder. So just right click and create new folder. And I can call this folder to be uh, sounds, for example. I have the sounds and what I can do right now is put everything except of this uh, flash and sounds inside of the sounds. So basically I, I just put all of my sounds into this folder. Okay, fine. Uh, now what we, what we need to do is, uh, is uh, when you have your library like so, you do not see anything in here, but if you expand your uh, library, there are some options. And there is this uh, linkage and there is a possibility to create a name and by this name, we are going to be targeting these sounds in the JavaScript, okay? So in here, I will double click on the place where is this linkage, somewhere here. And this, is, this will give me an option to create the name. And I will create the name, uh, for example, SP, like the Espanol, Spanish, uh, Lion, this is Lion sound. And I will call it uh, with the S at the end, like it is the sound. Okay, and I'm going to put uh, names for all of them, like so. So this one is going to be monkey s, 
and make sure that you don't misspell anything in here because uh, if you if you misspell this you will have hard time to target this like so and this one this is going to be english version, version so this is just lion s this is going to be monkey monkey s and this is going to be zebra s and you can create uh, names as you want and i will provide you with these sounds i created these sounds uh, just in uh, google translate okay fine and uh, right now what i want to do is uh, i will convert all of the all of the vectors uh, to the symbols and to the to the movie clips so i will click on the on the lion I can go to the property to see right now it is just an object but I can go to the modify convert to symbol I can call this to be a uh, lion for example and I will hit ok and this name lion it is just name for the library it is in here but this name uh, has nothing to do with the javascript the important name right now is that if I click on the on the lion there is an option for the instance name and this is the name by which we are going to be targeting this in the JavaScript. So I can go with lion and I will go with the lion, but I want to emphasize that this name is important, not the name in the library. And I will do the same thing for the monkey. So right now I will click F8, which is shortcut to convert to symbol. And by the way, make sure that it is movie clip, not the button or anything else. So monkey, and I can actually copy this to put this name for my instance name. So this is going to be monkey. And this one, uh, I will F8. This is going to be uh, zebra. I will copy this name, control C, and I will paste this name uh, into the instance name like so. Okay, fine. Uh, so right now I can go ahead and double click on the layer name and I can uh, call this to be animals. Hopefully I didn't, didn't misspell it. Yeah, uh, right now I will create a new layer. I will double click and I will call this to be code. Uh, I will uh, right click and I will choose actions. And in the actions, I will start to write the code. And let me, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see the code. So I will type uh, this lion. The lion is name that we created add event listener and make sure that uh, again you don't misspell this so uh, add event listener we want to have the click event listener like so and let me get more space because uh, i usually don't work with uh, the code big like this uh, so i want to have the space to have everything on the one line. So this lion add even listener click and right now comma and the name of the function that we want to call. And I can call this to be play lion, for example. And the semicolons are optional in the JavaScript, but I use them, it's just the habit. So right now uh, I will create the function play lion. So function play lion. Uh, parentheses, then curly parentheses, and right now I can write something in here. Uh, one thing uh, which I uh, mentioned in my introduction to the JavaScript tutorials, uh, when you are outside of the functions, you are using this. When you are inside of the functions, you will have to create variable. I will call it let root is equal to this. Uh, instead of the let, you can uh, write uh, var. Uh, var is just the older way to declaring variables. Let is uh, more modern ways. And there is some differences, but that's not for this tutorial. So let uh, this name root is uh, optional. You can create whatever name, but when you are inside of the function, you are going to be using that name. So root uh, lion. And I will just try whether my code is working. So I will just type visible is going to be false so this is what usually i do i just uh, create something like this to make sure that uh, if i if i click on the lion it will disappear and it has disappeared so fine 
Uh, I can comment out this line of code or I can delete it. You can comment out the line of code by hitting slash slash. Uh, right now this is gray and it doesn't do anything. And I can type uh, create create js uh, sound with uh, capital S sound play. And right now the name that we have created uh, in the quotation marks. So uh, what was the name that we created? Uh, it was uh, Lion S, I guess. Okay, so I will hit Control Enter. And if I click on the Lion, Lion, it is going to play me Lion, the, the Lion sound. Okay, fine. Uh, right now, I will, I will go back to my animate and I want to create a few things. Uh, one of the things is that I want to create two buttons and one is going to be for the English and one is going to be for the Spanish. Uh, make sure that you are not in the, in the code uh, layer uh, because we want to have only, only code in the code layer. And if you accidentally create something in the code layer, uh, delete it and do it one more time. Okay. Uh, so I will create new layer that's uh, it's not necessary you can be, still be on the animals layer but i i want to create new layer this is going to be buttons and i will just uh, get some shape rectangle and i will get my alpha to full transparency and i will go with maybe with uh, green color maybe something like this and i will create a button like so and I will get my text tool. I can get uh, maybe white color. And this one is going to be uh, Espanol, SP. And uh, I will create, I will make the text much smaller. Something like this. Okay, and I will position it uh, into, my, into my shape. And I will actually make this even a little bit smaller, like so. Okay, so I have a button for the Spanish. I will highlight it and with my Alt or Option on the Mac, I guess, I will drag it to duplicate this. I'm holding Shift to stay on the same line and I will change the text to Enago, like the English, like so. Okay, and you can create different colors for this button, that's up to you. Uh, right now, I will highlight all of the SP button. I will click F8. And I will call this to be uh, button, no? like button, e sp with capital E, like so. I will hit OK. And the same thing for the English button. So F8 and button, no? and a go. And I will hit OK. And one more time, uh, these names uh, we created just for the library. So they have nothing to do with the JavaScript. So we will have to create the names in here. And I would like to go with the same name, but you can go with whatever name. So button SP for the Espanol and uh, button and go for the, for the English. Okay, fine. And uh, one more thing before we will go back to code, I want to create a different background for the English and different background for the Spanish so we can see on which one we are. So again, I will create a uh, new layer and this layer I will call uh, BG and I'm going to put it uh, below everything. You can do this later on, but I will do it now and I will get uh, the rectangle tool and I will get some maybe uh, orange color for the Spanish and I will just uh, draw it like so. Uh, I will click on the shape. I will hit F8 and uh, this is going to be BG, SP, and uh, the instance names, uh, instance name I can also call BG, SP, okay? Uh, I will uh, double click to get inside. So right now I am in the scene one in the BG, SP, and I can create a new layer in here and just uh, create some text uh, and call this to be uh, Spanish. Okay, these are the additional things that I do. You do not need to uh, do this like so, but yeah, I hit Q 
to get free transform tool and I will scale this and I will put the opacity down to maybe 14% and I will go back and right now I have this Spanish. Uh, uh, I will create uh, one more layer and this is going to be uh, BG and a go. I can rename the bottom one to be BG SP. And on this uh, background English, I will get, uh, I will go to full transparency. I will go with maybe, uh, I don't know, blue color. And I'm going to create a shape like this. Again, uh, F8. Uh, I can leave this to be simple one because what is important is this name. And let me, let me check one more time. I created BG as a po, like so. So this one I will, so BG and a go. Okay, fine. Uh, and I will, I will uh, double click to get inside. I will create new layer and I will get the text, the black color, and I will just type uh, English. And I can uh, scale this with the free transform tool like so and I will uh, decrease the opacity again to maybe something like so. Okay, fine. Uh, so right now I will uh, click on my SP to make sure that this is button SP, this is button and a go. Okay, fine. So I will go back to my code, just clicking F9, or you can just, uh, just to show you, uh, you can uh, right click and choose actions. And uh, I will go in here, so over my uh, function play lion, and I'm going to type, uh, I'm going to type uh, button sp, but I will have to type it with uh, this. So this button sp add event listener, we want to have a uh, even listener uh, click and I will call the function to be uh, change to SP like so. Okay, I will copy this and I will create a function. So function uh, change to SP. Okay, fine. Uh, right now, uh, let me let me do one thing. I will create a variable. So I will call it uh, let English and I am going to set it to true. Okay, so like this. And right now what I will do, uh, so far I will leave this function empty. We will get to this uh, in a minute, but I will go back to my uh, function play lion and I will, I will create if else statement. So I'm going to create if, and in the if I will just type English. And basically this means, uh, this is the variable that I created in here. And if English means like if English is true. And you do not need to type if English is equal to true or something like that. All you need to do is just type if English, and this means if English is true, okay? And if English is true, I want to play this one, like so, create JS sound play lion s, and else, so if uh, English is not true, which means if English is false, I want to play, and I will uh, copy it from here, and I will change this from uh, lion s to S P and there is capital L Lion S. So the name that we created for the sound. And uh, right now I have created even listener for this uh, button S P. And in here I will change that the English English is going to be false. So it means that it will change to false and in this function we will be not playing the this one because uh, it, this one would be played only if the English is true, but we would play this one. Okay. 
so I will hit control enter to make sure that this is working. So lion. Lion. And if I click on the SP. Lion. I have some kind of lion. Error, let me see. Okay, uh, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work because I misspelled the uh, English. I just typed English. Maybe probably you, you saw that. So I will have to change this to, come on, uh, English like so. And right now it is going to be working, <laughs> hopefully. So I will click. Lion. And I will click on the SP. Leon. Okay, indeed it is working. So uh, sometimes it can happen that uh, you have a mistake like this, you know, I didn't see it actually that the G wasn't there and uh, I had to check for like two minutes right now why this, is, why this isn't working. Yeah, so like this. And uh, what I want to do uh, uh, in this uh, button as a pawn, exchange this to false. And also I would like to type uh, root and uh, BG SP BG SP to visible be true and uh, BG and a go to be false like so and I will I will hit control enter and if I click on the SP I have my my Spanish uh, visible and my English has disappeared. Okay, fine. And uh, right now, let me let me go ahead and copy this function, Control C, and uh, paste it in here, Control V. Uh, there may be some uh, better way uh, to not copy and paste the functions, but that would be much more advanced. So right now we will just copy the functions and I will change this to button and a go like the English and change to and a go. And I will have to change also the name in here like so. And uh, in this case, uh, if I click on the, on the English button and I will call a function change to English and I have the function change to English, I want to change English to true and uh, in this case the root uh, background uh, the Spanish background I don't want to be visible so I will type false and this one uh, the English background is going to be true okay very very simple I will hit control enter and make sure that if I click like so lion I have lion if I click on the SP this will change Leon. And this is Leon. And if I click on the N G, uh, this should be again Lion. Lion. Leon. Okay, so this is working. Uh, one thing uh, that we can do very simply is uh, to change the opacity of the buttons when we click. So when I click on the button SP, Espanol, I would like to change my root uh, N G. No, N G, but uh, button no and a go to have alpha 0 0.5, uh, which means that um, uh, this is going to be 50% opacity. And also I want to change my, uh, my uh, button SP to full opacity. And I will copy this and put it uh, on this function, but uh, in this case, this is going to be one and this is going to be 0 0.5. And basically this means that if I click on this SP button, my English button will be less, uh, only 50% opacity and my, uh, my SP is going to be one. And we have to change this to one because in the other case, we will have to change the A as support to 50% and then we would have to change it back to one. Hopefully this makes sense, I guess. So I will hit control enter. And if I click on the SP, the English has uh, less opacity. Okay, so you know uh, that you are on the English also with uh, the buttons and like so. 
Okay. And uh, right now, uh, I will go back to my code. And uh, again, there may be a possibility how to avoid writing all of the code one more time, but that's, as I said, would be too difficult for this kind of tutorials. So I will just copy and paste the function and uh, we will just very quickly uh, change some stuff. I will get my even listener for the lion and I will actually uh, put it uh, next to my lion so I can see that this is for the lion and I will paste it also in here. And in this case, I will change this to monkey. So this monkey add even listener. Uh, right now I want to play monkey. And uh, so I will change also the name of the function, play monkey like so. So we have this monkey, play monkey function, and then we have the function in here. And if uh, English, or uh, create JS sound play, and we want to play monkey s, which is the English ver version. And if uh, English is false, I want to play as a per monkey s. And I will hit control enter to make sure that this is working for the monkey. Monkey. And in the Spanish, this is, and it's not working. And I don't have errors. Leon. Leon is working. So I will have to go and check whether I, uh, whether I created some kind of mis mistake. So I have S per monkey S and I will change it in the library. So okay, and you can see that I have a mistake in the library. I told you to don't make mistakes in there, and I made, but there should be monkey with W. Okay, and right now it should be working. So monkey, monkey, and in the Spanish, mona, mona, or mono, depending whether it's a woman or man. Uh, but uh, yeah, and if we, if we want, we can uh, very simply uh, copy this uh, one more time and change the names. Uh, later on, maybe in some additional tutorials, other tutorials, I can uh, show you maybe how to avoid uh, copying and pasting these functions. But sometimes, depending on the code, it is uh, possible or not possible and harder or simpler. So this zebra uh, play zebra and let me copy this control C and paste it in here like so. And this one is going to be uh, zebra, zebra S and this is going to be S -P zebra S. I will save this. Uh, I will have to save this later on to, uh, I didn't save it so far. You should save your uh, files at the beginning. I will hit control enter and I will click on the zebra and it's not working. Come on. I have Lion. many mistakes. Monkey. Leon. Mona. Okay. So probably I didn't, didn't change something in the code. So let me go back F9. And this zebra Okay, so probably this is going to be just zebra s. I will hit control enter to check. Zebra. Okay, so English version is working. And the Spanish version I will have to check. And yeah. I was talking and I created a mistake. So S -p zebra S. <laughs> I type it Zobra. That's funny. I will hit control enter. Zebra. 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 Okay. So Zebra. Lion. Monkey. Mona. Leon. Zebra. Okay, fine. So it seems like everything is uh, working properly. And uh, yeah, this is it for this tutorial. Uh, I am going to provide you with the code and I will provide you uh, with, my, with my animate file. And 
uh, in the description I will put tutorial for the uh, the link for the tutorial about how to manipulate the the sound uh, it's much simpler so you can check this and I will also provide maybe some uh, link to other tutorials that I have about uh, JavaScript in Adobe Animate. Uh, the next one, I would like to create uh, something similar, but I would like to create uh, that at the beginning you are going to have sections like animals, foods, and something else. And if you click on the on the section, it will open some images and you will have the button to go back and so on. So yeah, probably I will create uh, next tutorial, something like that. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, hit a like, maybe share it with somebody. It would help me if uh, I get a little bit more views. I am still going to be doing these videos, but yeah, uh, if you share it with someone, it would help me. So consider to subscribe if you are interested in more videos like this. And again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, write some comments if you want and hopefully I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye. Take care.